Well, I can't do nothing. I'm just stuck here. I'll just try. I don't want to come into the house. Twice a day, Elder George Nedici goes out with his shovel and axe. He chips away at the snow and ice to try to clear a channel for the water to run through. But it's hard for the 79-year-old. I don't know how many times I fall down this winter, but uh, I watched myself good. Uh. The water is pouring down from a lake on a hill. It's also overflowing on the Dempster Highway. He says the highway's bad drainage blocks the water. Nidichi lives outside Sigichik's municipal boundaries, so the community can't help him. And he says the territorial government hasn't been helpful. You're not supposed to live this. The town is over there. You're supposed to live there, not over here. At the community office, they say the solution is simple. Say to put in culverts in the summertime to divert that drainage system to its natural course. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The MLA for the area isn't just calling for more drainage. He also wants the territorial government to install heaters in each culvert to ensure they don't freeze up. Will the minister ensure that the culvert is replaced over this summer and have a heat trace line in place? The territorial government says it's looking at some options, but the minister says they've already spent 35000 trying to relocate Nadichi's trailer to higher ground. I began discussions uh, with the department from my office uh, to talk about uh, that, that solution of uh, maybe uh, uh, making the, uh, the culvert, uh, placing the culvert in a different uh, angle and, uh, and also using some heat trace so it doesn't freeze in there. Medici hopes they don't wait till summer to find a solution. The 79-year-old doesn't know how long he can keep chipping away. David Thurton, CBC News, Sigechik.